Go. All right, we're here with Columbus's dynamic duo of the backfield, Lorenzo Woodley, Daryl Chestnut. Guys, last year, you guys made it farther than any team at Columbus had in almost 30 years. I know the goal this year is to take that one last step, you know, make it a game further and win it. Um, I guess talk a little bit about just looking at last year, how fun that was, and, you know, to, to make some history for the school and, you know, what you, you guys have a chance together to do something special this year. We were we were taught in that off season last year, and um, you know we, we we strive you know every game game after game to to make it to that point in the playoffs, and um, unfortunately we made it further than the school has ever made it in history. So that was a big accomplishment for us last year, but not a goal for this year is to make it one step ahead, and and that's to the state championship, and not just to make it to win it as well. You got a pretty complete team last year. What do you what do you think was missing right there at the end when you guys were uh, got beat by Miramar? Um, you know, we didn't finish. We came up we came up strong, we fought, but we just didn't finish. We we finished this year. We'll be we'll be better. What what, what I guess I when going and talking about that, like what regret did you have after the game? Maybe something you saw later when you guys went back and saw the game, maybe something you could have done differently. Um I had no regrets due to the fact that we played as one unit. We played as a team, we played as a whole. We gave it all we had. Miramar was a better team at that point. But you know, we just trying to work hard this all season to make it better next season. Well why can this Columbus team better last year and become a state champion this year? Why do you feel that's how because I, I feel that if, as if we're, if we're good enough to make it to the regional finals, we're good enough to make it to the state finals, which is only one game away. So without a doubt, I, I have a doubt in my mind that we can make it to the state championship. Now last year, I know one thing was a crowded backfield because it was you guys and you had uh, Brandon Radcliffe too and carries had to be split here and there to make sure they could utilize all three of you. But now the two of you back there, it's probably going to be more carries to dish out to both of you, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, can you talk a little about how, how it's a little different this year? Well, we grew up playing about one football together, and we grew up sharing carries with each other. So without a doubt in my mind, we, we, don't, have time, we, don't, have, we don't have a problem sharing the load together. Oh. Yeah. Talk a little bit about that. I mean, you guys grew up together. I mean, when did you guys meet? Uh, um, no, I started playing football later. I was like, I want to say I was eight or nine. And Lorenzo was a he was running back to to, to uh, compete with him uh, at Coconut Grove, mm -hmm. so we started having that bond. His dad was he's a great dad. He's like my dad too. Um, he taught me how to play running back when I first came out there. Me and Lorenzo had a bond ever since that day. Oh, your dad played football like collegially or pro professionally? Yeah, he played football at the University of Pittsburgh. Okay, what was his name? Lorenzo Willie. Lorenzo Willie Senior. Junior. Uh, junior. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, we'll talk a little bit about then when you guys met. Were you on the same team right away when um, you were kids? You know, I played off the offensive lineman at first. So I you were all like, yeah, I was, I was pulling for <laughs> okay. him. I played offensive lineman, tight end, and then defense. And I was, I was pulling for him. I was blocking for him. I was doing everything for him until one day we played against Liberty City, mm -hmm. and I finally got my opportunity to show what I could do, and I showcased my skills and. Me and him just had a bond. It, just, it came out of nowhere. Him and Amari Cooper, it just came out of nowhere. Okay, so you guys all played on the same. Yeah, yeah, it just came out of nowhere. That's, that, that must have been a great yeah. backfield, a very great team overall. Yeah. But, I mean, who noticed your speed? Because he said that that game kind of like, you know, brought that talent out uh, to show what you do now. Um, who noticed my speed first had to be my uncle. But well, both of my uncles, I played I, I play for my uncle when I was young. It wasn't. It wasn't organized, but I played for him. Like mm -hmm. we just go in the backyard, throw the football around, and then I went to a daycare called the Barnyard. My other uncle, he was the counselor, and he taught me how to run the ball as well too. So mm -hmm. they all noticed my speed. Okay. And for you growing up, uh, when did when did you sort of start to become the player you are today, Lawrence? Well, when I was six years old, um, I wasn't playing football yet, but my dad, you know, he 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 was he was taking me in the backyard. You know, teaching me running back drills. You know, doing workouts for me, and I didn't want to do it because you know, I was, you know, it was too hot, and I was, you know, crying. You know, I didn't want to do it, but you know, he he made me do it. You know, and it worked out. He taught me how to run the ball. He taught me how to be a, a running back. So, you know, when I, when I turned seven, that's when I started playing for um, Coconut Grove Optimus team, and um, you know, I, I did pretty good. You know, I wasn't starting. It was it was two other running backs. Mm -hmm. Just like I was last year, but you know I did pretty good for my first year, and um, and, I, and I think he taught me well all the way up to this point, and he's still teaching me mm -hmm. today. So that's that's a good thing. Did you uh, did you also that whole experience kind of 
like you said, teach you kind of like the the part of not not the skill of the game, but like the hard work it takes to break through and kind of you know make your own mark kind of thing. You know, at that point. Yeah, it did because you know, you know if if, if you know you got to work hard everywhere you go. So you know even in, even in college, no matter how good you is, so you know what he teach me is to never stop working, no matter no matter how good I'm doing, just to keep working and to stay on the top. So you guys call yourself Thunder and Lightning because uh, you bring the speed and you bring the power. Yeah. You're pretty fast too, though. So you <laughs> run and it's, like, it's not like you're slow. Let's let's make that clear. But uh, I guess talk a little bit about the offense this year. Um, I hear you guys have a new quarterback. You know, it's got some good potential. He hasn't played yet in Miami, but there's there's some there's a buzz about him having a big arm. Is, you know, can you tell us a little yeah, bit about that's it? That's true. He's he's only 15. All right. About six two, 230 pounds, but he has an arm. We have some threats. Um, we obviously have uh, Hazels Wilson right. rise up in the slot. Um, we have another running back, Austin Armstrong. We have a lot of people that, that I feel like it's going to be a uh, key to our offense this year. And huh. Our quarterback is one of them. How's the old line looking? Going on the side, got to be. It always looks. You know, we we work hard. It always looks great. It always looks great. They they work hard day in and day out. They're hungry, and they're willing to work. So how well, how's your uh, college situation going right now? As far as like you know, how does summer go? You know, any. Um, this summer I, I've been going to a lot of schools. We went to uh, South Carolina, Florida State. Um, we even checked out Penn State. Well, all the mess they're going through, but you know I've seen everything. I like a lot of schools such as Florida State, uh, Texas Tech, Kansas State, um, and, and many more FIU as well too. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm just enjoying what I can do right now. Hey, let me. Um, <clears throat> I didn't change the memory out. Are oh, you running out of? I got it. It ends.